for Vanderbilt. They're going to change things up. They had a starting shortstop in their first game. Carter Young, he will not get the start tonight. You see Enrique Bradfield Jr. will lead things off. The speedy center fielder, he is in the box. First pitch swing and he rips it up the middle for a base hit. That's the way you get it started for Vanderbilt. Out of the stretch, showing bunt. A perfectly placed bunt. I don't know if they're going to get him. There's no play. Javier Vaz, an infield single. It passed the bag. Just got underneath as Jones knows he just missed that one. Right fielder Godfrey makes the catch. Tagging throw coming to third. Cut off at short. So Bradfield tags, goes from second to third yesterday to get the win. Runner goes from first, fake the throw. And Javier Vaz will take second. So two runners in scoring position. Don't know. I, I don't know. That's a no. <laughs> Fly ball, deep center field to Bach going back at the track. Goes down to a knee as he slips. There'll be no throw. Runner has to go back to second. Here's the throw at third. In there safely. But he's out. Slid past third base. Javier Vaz is going to be tagged out at third. I got to tell you, he went down out there. Did he catch it? It almost looked like he got, he got it here. On the transfer, he drops it. One, two pitch to Antillian. Swing on a miss, strike three. Bad right now. One two pitch. Drill past the shortstop, him in it. Uh, Diaz, excuse me. Won the count on Kevin Jimenez. Ground ball to second base. This is Colwick. Makes that look routine, and there's a third out here. Can go to some big arms coming out of the bullpen. That ball is laced to the left center field gap. Villarreal, the left fielder, charging over and makes the catch. And going all around. It was cool to see the Auburn Regional. How about Logan Galena starting off this bottom of the second with a single for the Aggies. Here's the pitch from McIlvain. Rounded into the hole on the right side. Galena will turn, pick up his third base coach, put on the brakes. Here's the 2-2. Chopped at the plate, fielded by McIlvain. Throws to second for one, over to first, not in time. Playing in another big game, this is Godfrey in on the hands. Shallow left field catch made by Hewitt. Gets it back into the infield quickly, two down. Grounded, slow right side, Colwick fields, and that'll do it. It becomes the key. Tate Colwick waits on that breaking ball and delivers it out to left field for a one-out single here in the top of the third. Payoff pitch, runner goes, missing, ball four. Well hit to center field, to Bach going back. It's not coming back. Adios! Spencer Jones, a three-run ball. As Vanderbilt takes a four-nothing lead here in the top of the third. There's the energy. That's the energy from Vanderbilt. You see the guys out there. Now look at the swing. Remember, you're talking 6-7 at the plate. His strike zone is huge. His high, his, he's got these high hands. And this is the power that they've been waiting for. He didn't show up yesterday. Here he picks his pitch, and it really wasn't a great pitch to him. <laughs> oh, the head first slide. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Slider, and that one hit him. Like to get access to. Runner goes from first, throw down to second, not in time. Now the ball goes in the right field. Keegan scoots to third. He'll be held there. Gilgore, hey, look, close it up a little bit. Ground ball to short, slow roller for Jimenez on the throw, on the run, makes the play. Yesterday was really good. That ball is laced to the right side through the hole. Villarreal has his first hit here in the regional. You would not know it's been raining for two days here. Ball in the dirt, runner goes, throw down to second, not in time. Oh, I hope he does the interview with his glasses on. Single up the middle, they're gonna send the runner from third. Here comes Villarreal, throw to the plate, offline. New Mexico State is on the board. 
off the RBI single by Kevin Jimenez. Swing and a miss, strike three. So McIlvain comes back with a huge pitch. You guys, you guys must love playing for him, huh? Oh yeah, he's awesome. He just lets us be ourselves and express ourselves and, you know. He recognized that and gave him the hat tip. So we're gonna miss strike three, Nolan Funky down on strikes. Change, because now it's about the look, which I'm fine. I'm all about personality. Strike three. McIlvain picks up two strikeouts here in the bottom of the fourth. You never know with him. I mean, especially sitting off that long, he's not going to be as sharp as you see him. With more than one small TV, that'd be terrific. <laughs> Bunt in the air, not caught, and no play. Natera dove for it to try to make the catch. And because of that, you're not going to get the speedy Enrique Bradfield Jr. We found a place they gave us our own game room. <laughs> Vaz gets down the bunt. Only play for Kilgore is to force, and he gets the out. But Vaz does his job. Breaking ball, line the other way. That scores one easily. They're sending Bradfield Jr. He'll score with no throw. A two RBI single for Spencer Jones. His second hit of the day, his fifth RBI of the day. And Vanderbilt takes a six to one lead here in the top of the fifth. Takes this ball the other way. We saw the home run, which he pulled in the air up into the bleachers. Here he knows he's got a couple of stakes out there on the bases and he just works the other way against a lefty. Really struggle. Runner goes. And no throw as that ball was in the dirt. Kilgore couldn't field it cleanly. 3-2 pitch. Missed outside. Ball four. Six. Really because the bats have gone cold. Nolan, deep fly ball to left field. Villarreal going back. It's off the wall. Jones will score. Throw comes into third. Not in time. And Vanderbilt takes a 7-1 to one lead off the RBI double by Parker Nolan. Jones and Nolan left-handed here doing a terrific job of staying in against the lefty. You know, it would be so easy to try to pull him by bailing out of there, and they're not doing that. They're, they're staying in, and that's tough. I mean, that's, that's not an easy thing to do and taking it the other way. Squeeze play is on. Runners are coming. Work to perfection. The second runner comes in, and Vanderbilt scores two off the butt. Whoa! Keegan and Nolan both come in off the bunt by Calvin Hewitt. Work to perfection, and Vandy now leads it 9-1. to one. Well, this is your bunt for two, and you can see basically it's a squeeze bunt for the runner on third. The runner at second base had such a big secondary. He just takes off and keeps coming. You never stop it. It literally is called a bunt for two. You don't see it very often. It was a really smart time to do it. Put it behind me. I couldn't do anything about it after it happened. Just redeem myself with Carter at short on that double play back to me. <laughs> we couldn't find a television that was bigger than 19 inches. <laughs> yeah, we found one. McIlvain with the strikeout. Word gets out. Teams start to really defend it against you. The winner of this regional will face the winner of the Auburn regional. Auburn cruised in their first opening game. They'll play Florida State tonight in the winner's bracket. Tate Kolick back at the wall in right field. Adios! Tate Kolick, a two-run home run to right field. And it's been all Vandy up 11-1 to one here in the top of the sixth. Man, that is such a good swing. Thing like that. Yeah, <laughs> I saw the look, John. Well hit down the line and right. Spencer Jones is digging for two. Here comes the throw from Godfrey, not in time. Spencer Jones. To the club, so I just want to work the scoreboard. And we'll get back to this story after you see a terrific. Lost 20, he had already lost 20. He gets to 21. Nice little pitch there gets him and get a good target. 3-2, missed upstairs, ball four. With you a little bit. Other than that, it was pretty much on your own. McIlvain just <laughs> being serious. 1-2 pitch, blew it by him. 
Chris McIlvain, have yourself a ball game. Ninth strikeout of the game. What great host Corvallis has been. I mean, oh, well hit. Jack Bolger, left center field at the wall. Adios! A solo shot for Jack Bolger. His first hit here in this Corvallis Regional, and it's a big one. A solo shot here in the top of the seventh as Vandy takes a 12-1 lead. Let's take a look at the reaction from Rodriguez. He releases the pitch, watch him, he knows right away. Field is perfect though. Back up the box, there's a single for Preston Godfrey. And a huge bat for Stanford. Man, that team is scary right now. One, two pitch. Got him swinging. 11 strikeouts on the game for Chris McIlvain. After the season that didn't really go their way, kind of came through in the end. Here's Colwick with a singler up the middle. And so the players in the dugout could have taken him off between innings, decided to take him off in the game. Let the fans give him a round of applause. Let us talk about him, too. For once, Tommy Tapah. To yeah. Yeah. Tip your cap, salute the crowd. Job well done here in Corvallis. At the bat, on, electric arm, and there's Bradfield just delivering at the plate. And you see, know, and that's a great point. I, I so Jones at the plate, he knows. Yes. That's well heading to left. Villarreal off the wall. Jones needs a triple. He's going to stop at second, driving in two more runs. And I'm not doing what everybody else is doing. Keegan, well hit out in the right field at the wall. Adios! Dominic Keegan, a two-run home run for Vanderbilt. His 14th of the season, 16 to one here in the top of the eighth. Vandy says, uh-uh, we ain't going home today. Or should I just say an offensive slump? I don't know if it's necessarily a mini slump. We ground ball to short, Jimenez double clutches and he won't make it in time. Game here, oh. it was last year, the year before, Stanford, Oregon State. Slow chopper down the line at third, funky charging, no play. So Alan Espinal pinch hits will reach first. That ball gets past Antillion. Both runners will advance for Vanderbilt. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Put in play to short. Jimenez backhand throws across for the out. Diaz will look in, it's just got to be open late, people. Swing and a miss, strike three. Hansen gets his first strikeout here in the bottom of the eighth. Kenzie grounds the short right at Wiltshire, and the newly inserted shortstop bobbles it. No. He leaves that upstairs, draws himself a pinch hit walk. In his own, but. Popped him up. Deep left field. Graybosch coming in. No, oh, he can't make the catch in left. It is wet out there. Trying to get big. Misses inside with the pass ball. Ball four, that will walk in a run. Hayden Johns, new pitcher on the mound for New Mexico State. That ball is ripped by Parker Noland. That one's going to go all the way to the wall. Two runs will score. They're going to hold the runners. A two RBI double. Uh, no, I mean, I guess it's, it was always there. Oof. That ball is cranked into the corner. Espinal, he delivers. A two out, two RBI double. One ball, two strikes to count. Ground ball, slow roller to short. Wiltshire throw in, makes the play. But as that one is ripped down the line, Nolan Funky. That gets into the left field corner as he rounds first and chugs in the second there. This is where we want to be. No pressure on us. And Tillian pops it up to right field. This could do it. And Jones will make the catch.